value. It's been outperforming growth in a big way over the last year. You probably know that, too. Our next guest expects that trend to continue in 2023. Has a few ways to play it. Joining us now is Kevin Dreyer. He's the co-CIO of Value at Gamco Funds. Welcome. It's good to see you. Happy New Year. Thanks, Scott. Uh, I think, you know, this prevailing thought is that value, this is the day. We've been waiting a long time for this day to arrive, and it's here. And it's going to continue? We have, and I think just this era of higher rates for longer probably lends itself towards value continuing to outperform. Which parts of value, though, right? Because, you know, I could say, okay, well, staples, I want to be defensive. There's value stocks and staples. A lot of them have gotten expensive, as have other areas of, of those kinds of groups. Which do you particularly like? So we just focus on really cash flow generating enterprises with pricing power, regardless of the industry. So it could be industrials, like waste collection businesses. It could include staples. Some of those have gotten bid up, uh, but there are still a lot of opportunities within that sector. Well, I mean, you like Kraft Heinz and Diageo. Correct. Those are, you know, reasonably good examples of what we're talking about. Exactly. So Diageo was actually down last year, so I wouldn't call that bid up. Uh, Spirits companies have always traded at a pretty big premium to the sector and really to the market, uh, but that's no longer the case for Diageo, despite very good trends. Your overweight communication services, is that right? Yeah. Okay, that's probably the most contentious part of this this conversation then. Um, Why would I want to be overweight in an area that seems to be under some significant pressure in the weeks, if not months ahead? Well, I guess, first of all, at Gabelli, uh, we're very bottoms up and stock specific. So however it comes out in terms of sector allocation, that's really just an outflow of that bottom up process. Uh, We do have a core competency in communication services and media specifically developed over a long time. And right now, valuations are very, very attractive, even though the ad market uh, is probably going to be a little bit choppy here this year. I mean, I've had enough enough conversations with Mr. Gabelli over the years to know his his acumen and expertise in the media space. But some would suggest those stocks are cheap for a reason. Uh, You you know, to be sure, you I think you have to, to pick your spots and, you know, look for interesting opportunities where where they're not value traps. All right. We'll leave it there. Kevin, I appreciate your time very much.